So this summons an Ender Dragon at 0710, and then after that, it summons a Fireball of Explosion Power 100 right at the Ender Dragon. Here you can see at the Ender Dragon in this dimension, so there's a distance of less than 100, summons a Fireball of Explosion Power 100, um, a power of at least 20 in magnitude is required to make it explode automatically, and direction is just necessary. There needs to be a point zero for it to be a double, otherwise it won't work. Here is where it summons a dragon, and this one makes sure mob griefing is off, otherwise the fireball explosion would cause quite a lot of lag. Here is a statue of Game for 5. He's made out of burnable materials so that we can make a burning map out of this. Similarly, we have a, another, my trackpad will work, uh, another statue of Game for 5. This one is a bit wider as to have space between the limbs, but it looks a bit awkward on this face. So we might use the compressed version. Here is just his logo made in, out of the color blocks on the border. And then here is where the info will be. It's an end island floating inside black concrete made by Edmund here. He made a command block contraption that will have um, um, Armor Stand Brandon take the dragon egg away. Here in this chest, you can see a cleverly named Godly Pickaxe. And you can see that there is a simulation of uh, like a mini dragon fight with the scaffolding and water. Inside the island, you can see a little box. Still under development, as you can see. With the, and here with all the explosions. Here is the lobby. It, it's a circle made by Timothy using complex armor stands, but it turns out that the circle was actually odd. Um, but they've still built everything in evens, which infuriated um, Brandon quite a lot. Um, they made the initial walls around the lobby, and Stephen added this fallen log here. And they also added like a gate and a like archway. Here is a spawning platform that I actually initially made to teleport us to a testing location, but that ended up being replaced. Up here you can see floating things, I'm not sure what these are. And then after that, Brandon came and applied his own magic, and now everything's covered in leaves and looks ruined. In a good way, of course. And so what they're working on here, I believe, is part of the, I don't know, it's, it seems to be about the feminists that come in in the intro, um, but I'm not exactly sure what this is about. I guess you come in from here, you go down the stairs, and you take some turns, you enter here. And I guess this is where you can spawn in a feminist who will lead you to the next room, which I'm not sure what it is. Here's the storyboard. Yes, this map is meant to be a happy birthday gift to Game Pro 5. So you have an intro with the end animation of Brandon stealing the egg and parkour, in which he's supposed to cheat on to try to get the egg, but Brandon's too fast. There's some trivia about him.